Hi, in this video, we will see the basic guidelines for the palm enrollment. Before that, let's have some overview about Palm Vein Reader. Palm Vein Reader is a biometric reader which enrolls the user's vein pattern and authenticates it accordingly. Vein pattern is internal and unique to each palm, making PVR technology more secure and reliable. Palm vein pattern is scanned by the sensor which uses IR rays to capture the vein pattern as shown here. An image of the vein pattern is stored in the database and the same is used for identifying the user at the time of authentication. Proper enrollment plays a major role in the effectiveness of any biometric system. Now let us look at the points that need to be taken care for palm enrollment. The most basic requirement for the enrollment is that your palm should be neat and clean. Please do not attempt to enroll the palm under the following conditions. 1. Dirty, scarred palm. 2. Wet palm. 3. Palm with bandage. 4. Wearing a glove or bracelet on hand. In case of aforesaid conditions, the sensor will not be able to capture the palm vein accurately or the captured vein pattern may be of low quality or it may prevent the palm from being enrolled at all. Now, to enroll the palm successfully, the correct position of the hand should be ensured. The hand should not be moved until the palm template is captured and processed. Follow the graphic guidance on the screen of the PVR for correct positioning of the palm. Move the palm in the direction of the arrows, which is displayed on the screen of PVR. This graphic indicates you move your palm towards the sensor. This directs you to move your palm away from the sensor. This one indicates to move your palm upwards. And finally, this is the correct palm position. Place the wrist properly on the wrist guide. The wristband must touch the wrist guide. Place the index finger, middle finger, and ring finger properly on the finger guide in such a way that all the fingers get placed in their respective grooves. Coordinate the thumb and the little finger to the same height as that of the remaining finger's positions. The palm must be parallel with the sensor of the PVR. Spread all the fingers and the thumb as shown. Keep your hand steady until the palm is either captured or authenticated. The total capture time is of 4 seconds once that palm is placed properly. Meantime, palm will be scanned twice and each scanning process is of around 2 seconds. Now, wait for the confirmation of palm enrollment. Please note that user can enroll both his palms for the enrollment. The quality of the enrolled palm will affect the authentication accuracy, so to avoid frequent rejections, you must be careful while placing the hand in enrollment process. In case the hand is small and fingertips can't reach the finger guide, move the hand up, place the arm on the wrist guide, and make sure that the fingertips reach to the finger guide. Now let's have a look at some incorrect placements of palm which need to be avoided. First, incorrect position of wrist. Second, Palm, which is not placed parallel to the sensor area. Third, fingers are not stretched or bowed. Fourth, the palm bows in the wrist and the finger guide. Fifth, the palm bows out the wrist and the finger guide. Sixth, fingers and the thumb are not spread out properly. Now let's see how to place the palm without using the hand guide for enrollment and authentication process. Place the palm 40 to 60 millimeters away from the sensor. The position of the palm and fingers must remain in an identical manner as it was while using the hand guide. In case, if you do not want to use of the hand guide, you are recommended to practice the positioning of the palm using the hand guide first. Once you are accustomed to the correct positioning, you may detach the hand guide from the PVR. Now let's see how to troubleshoot the problems which occurred during enrollment and authentication process. First, wipe the surface of the sensor area with a dry and soft cloth. Second, position the PVR away from direct sunlight, halogen, 
as well as the incandescent lamp. Third, some users who are susceptible to having cold palm in winter, they may get authentication failures. In such situations, users should try authentication after warming their hands. Fourth, make sure that user with small palm should keep the center of palm in front of the sensor area to avoid rejection. So friends, I am sure by now you are clear how to enroll the palm. Thanks for watching this video. For any further queries, feel free to contact Matrix Technical Support.